Hello everyone, I'm Gregor and I'm going to present the results of the IPC 2020 on hierarchical task network planning. I've organized this together with Daniel Höller from Saarland University and Pascal Bercher from the Australian National University. In past competitions, um, the planners were actually allowed to have their own um, HDN structure on a per domain basis. So uh, these uh, competitions actually kind of um, evaluated more the uh, quality of the modeling and the quality of the HGN structure than the quality of the planners themselves. Now for this competition we actually want to compare um, the planners on the basis of how well they can exploit a fixed given HGN structure. For this uh, reason um, all of the planners receive the same HGN structure per domain and per instance as an input. Um, and do so in a new uh, common input uh, language that we defined, HDDL, hierarchical domain description language, um, for which we also uh, defined a output format for plans and provide a verifier so that we and you can check whether the uh, plans found by the competitors are actually valid. From a technical point of view, uh, we ran all the planners inside of singularity containers. Um, for every instance, um, each planner um, had um, 8 gigabytes of RAM available and 30 minutes of runtime. Um, and we asked the planner to provide a solution as quickly as possible. Um, so we completely ignored um, the quality of the solution and action costs. Um, the uh, planners were scored according to um, the IPC time score, which is one minus the logarithm of the actual uh, runtime the planner took divided by the logarithm of 1800. And to uh, eliminate um, randomness, we actually executed the whole IPC 10 times and uh, averaged over the results. We have two tracks, um, a total order and a partial order track. In the total order track the um, methods of all domains are sequences, while in the partial order track we don't have this guarantee. Um, we have in total six planners participating in the IPC, which are Lilotane, um, Ciadex, Hypertension, PDDL4J in two versions and PyHypop. Of course there are more um, HDN planners out there. Some wanted to participate but um, couldn't in the end. And of course our own planners also didn't take part um, out of fairness reasons. Um, we elicited um, domain submissions from the community. Uh, for the total order track we got in total 40 submissions of domains from nine different groups, um, of which we included 24 in the IPC uh, with 892 instances in total. Um, we excluded some uh, due to duplicate submissions, for example, we have now three different uh, versions of Boxworld, for example, um, and some domains were just too hard or too easy for all the planners. For the partial order track we only got 11 submissions, um, and um, from these were from two different groups, um, of which we included eight in total, again duplicates and so on, difficulty, um, with 204 instances in total. We originally planned to also have an azerclic total order track, but we didn't receive any direct domain submissions for that. Um, we didn't receive any direct planner submissions for that. And in the end, we had only three domains to evaluate the planners on, so we decided to cancel this track. These are the results of the total order track um, in the usual IPC table format. So every row is a domain, um, every column a planner, and you see the um, domain score uh, per planner per domain um, and all the scores are normalized to one so you can get a um, score of one per domain at maximum and the greener the cell um, the higher the um, score in that domain. Now the sixth place in the total order track goes to PyHypop, the fifth place goes to Ziadex, the fourth place to PDDL4J partial order version, uh, Third place goes to PDDL4J in the total order version. Um, second place and the runner-up winner is Lilotane, written by Dominic Schreiber. Congratulations. And the winner of the total order track is Hypertension, uh, developed by Mauricio Cecilio Magnaguano, uh, Felipe Meneguzzi and Lavindra de Silva. Congratulations to you three. For the partial order track, um, we only had three uh, of the six planners participating because some of them actually can't support um, partial order in the domains. Uh, one participant was sadly disqualified. The second place and runner-up winner position goes to Pi High Pop, uh, developed by Charlesier and Alexandre Albor. Congrats to that. And uh, the winner of the partial order track is uh, Ziadex, developed by Juan Fernandez Olivares and Ignacio Veliro Exposito. 
congregations also to that. As a result of the IPC, we not only offer the uh, certificates to the winners and the ranking that you just saw, um, but also a lot of other uh, materials for the community, notably um, runnable singularity containers for all the participating planners that you can use to evaluate your own uh, planners against. We offer a large repository of benchmark instances, the, as far as we know, largest one so far for HDN planning, with um, 1,543 instances. Those are the IPC instances plus further submissions that we got that we finally not included in the IPC um, benchmark set. We will publish a large library of valid and invalid plans that we got uh, during the development and testing phase of the planners. Um, we also, as I already mentioned, offer a now a unified input language, HDDL, that is understood by all these planners, um, either directly or via translators, but these translators are always already integrated in the singularity containers, so it's easy to use them, and we offer an HDN plan verifier. Um, lastly, we also want to thank um, a lot of people. Um, firstly, Damien Pellier and Humbert Fiorino for their poll regarding the IPC, then John Alford, Damien Pellier and Humbert Fiorino for the discussion of HDDL, the new um, input language that we used, uh, to Damien Pellier, Humbert Fiorino and uh, Mauricio Cecilio Magnaguano for their planners, finding so many bugs in the um, IPC domains. Um, of course, to everyone who submitted domains for the great work that you did, uh, to all the participants uh, for their patience with us, especially since we had to postpone the competition a lot. Um, and lastly, to Torsten Engers and Uli Jakob for their help with the uh, Uni Freiburg uh, GKE cluster, on which we run the um, experiments for the IPC, especially after I broke the cluster uh, multiple times. Thank you very much. <laughs>